What is going on? This your boy Dre357 checking in with another Nitro video. Here today we have Traxxas T Max 3.3 and the Traxxas Revo 3.3. What I wanted to do today is do like a little comparison. Uh, let's say you are looking for a nice Nitro truck to purchase. And these two here are two good candidates so I'll go over each one real quick this one here the T-Max haven't done much to it it is for the most part stock except the OS 11k carb and I actually upgraded to the metal T-Max big boy shocks with the titanium coated shock shafts. Other than that, it is all original. Oh, I did put the uh, aluminum um, Willie Bar wheels on it. And that is pretty much it. And here we have Traxxas Revo 3.3. As far as changes, same thing. Willy bar wheels, ball bearing wheels, and the OS 11K car. And I just recently, like just now, put a metal spur gear in. I went with the same size teeth, the 38 tooth. I actually stripped the, the other one last time I ran it. So, all right, well, my opinion as far as handling. Can't beat the Revo uh, with the inboard shocks. It handles very well when you're going in a turn at a higher rate of speed. It tends to lean more into the turn, kind of dig down. Versus the T-Max, it has some some leaning, uh, you know, as far as holding on to the turn when you're going in. But a lot of times it'll just roll right over. As far as if you want looking for something to more be, I guess, jumping, you can make the Revo a little bit tougher as far as jumping. But in my opinion, T-Max is definitely a way to go on that. Just with the way the shocks are set up on it, it tends to handle, handle jumps better. Now the Revo, when jumping, a lot of people will go, it's kind of hard to see with that pipe in, but they'll add in a, a rear brace on it. And it kind of helps with when these tie rods, when you go up on the, the suspension, it tends to kind of pull on it. And sometimes they'll just a pop out. So that's about it on that. As far as speed, they're the same, power the same. Um, durability. From again, I'm this one's I haven't had this one that long, maybe a few months. I've had this one for about eight months, and so far at this point, I probably had to go with the T Max as far as durability. Um, just the way it's designed, it's kind of more of a traditional setup. Revo, more moving parts, uh, even though personally, I prefer driving this one more, but um. I have to say the Revo is a little bit, takes a little bit more work to keep things going if you're running it kind of hard. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a little short run of each one of them. You can kind of see them in action. And let me know what you guys think. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I am going to... From a cold start, we'll go ahead and start the T-Max 3.3 up first. We'll do a few passes, and we'll go from there. Here we go. Alright, 
cut off on me. Give me just a sec. All right, we're back. I'm more careful when I'm turning this one. As far as wheelies, they both will will wheelie. T Max will definitely be quicker on it though. Notice the turning here. When I turn, that wheel comes off the ground. Not really that fast of a turn either. You'll definitely see a difference between this one and the Revo on that. We're gonna shut this one off. We're gonna get the Revo going here. Just a sec. Alright, time to get this Revo 3.3 fired up. Now notice the turning on this one. Gotta love that nitro smell.
and at high speeds it just feels more planted all right guys this thing actually shut off on me let me go get it i'll be right back all right we are back again guys that about wraps it up appreciate you guys checking me out thanks for watching don't forget to stay tuned for more feel free to leave some comments down below on what you think what's your favorite one between the two and what would you like to see more of thanks for watching Peace. <laughs>